stop. 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 Enough. Ah, oh, peace and quiet. Hey guys, what's up? All right, today we have a nice little tutorial guide of how to use Nvidia Broadcast. For all of you that have RTX graphics cards uh, installed on your computer, then uh, you have this neat little app here. It's like a noise gate, which you can use straight from Nvidia. Uh, this thing does wonders, uh, but a lot of people don't know how to set it up or are, get quite confused or sometimes mix up the settings. So yeah, you don't need shadow play for this, but it would be good to use shadow play on your recordings as well. Uh, if you're streaming, you can set it up on OBS as well. So let's check out the app guys. This is it. Right now, as you can see, I have it set on my mic. So it picks up my mic. Uh, if you had headphones, you would find them in the list just by clicking up. Or if you only have one default device, then you don't need to change anything. Just go to default device. So as you can see here, I have noise removal turned on and I have peak strength uh, of how much it's going to remove about almost full. If you want to lower it or uh, strengthen it, that's up to you. If you want to test it out, all you do is press this. Uh, what else do we have? We have room echo, which removes all kind of noise reduction uh focused around your room uh, we can turn that on as well and set the strength the intensity of that as well the other option is speakers if you don't want to hear the annoying sounds from your online friends uh keyboards or uh heavy breathing or any kind of weird noise maybe they have an aquarium in the background or uh, someone's vacuuming yeah, you just turn this on and it'll work the same way. Also, NVIDIA Broadcast now comes with a camera, which is, look at that, amazing. You can actually get a background removal on it. The way you adjust it is you click on which camera you want to use, which options are available to you. You select that camera. Uh, you can also go to settings of your camera as well. Then you select the resolution and the frame rates. Now you have background removal. You also have the option to go to background blur. That's the back and that's the aquarium over there. This looks really cool too. It's like a cool bokeh effect and you could either strengthen it or reduce it. There you go. Now you could either have quality or performance depending on, on what you like. You could also replace your background with anything like NVIDIA Broadcast. Or you can download something and select a file for it. It could be a PNG file. It could be a JPEG file. It could be a GIF or GIF, whatever you want to call it. Uh, something that plays in the background repeatedly on a loop. Uh, that's cool too. So auto frame. What is auto frame? If you click on that, it zooms in to the best of its ability. You can zoom it out. Now, if you click on this, it'll take you straight to the website. It'll open up the browser. Uh, this is where you download it from. Download now. Simple as that. Gives you a full explanation, facts, setup guide, help. You can actually go to support. Uh, it shows you what system requirements you need. Like I said, you need RTX cards. It supports RTX 20 and RTX 30 cards. It shows you which ones it's, it supports. Also, if you want to see if there are any updates, all you do is click on the gearbox, that little setting, settings menu, and it'll show you right here which version you have. I have the 1.3.0.45 version. And all I have to do is click on this, like I said, and it'll take me straight to the browser and download a newer version if one is av available. If you click on this button, this is really cool, guys. Help us improve, it says. So you can do a virtual background of yourself. You can actually start recording it. It says record yourself speaking into the camera with normal hand movements and gestures as if you were live streaming. That way it'll give you a better green screen around you, better re removal of... Uh, your background as well. Uh, if you submit this, 
uh, if, you, if they get enough, the EII will eventually be updated with newer versions. Also, if you click on noise removal, if you're working in a factory or in the industry and you have some kind of mechanical noise running in the background, like drills or hammers or major thumping going on from the big machines behind you, uh, typewriter, fish tank, a honking sound, church bells, like I had in the intro, anything like that, you just record it, submit it, and NVIDIA will eventually remove it. Uh, also app supported as well, like I have it on Discord. So what I do is I go from my microphone, USB, and I switch that to NVIDIA broadcast. And right now it should work, it's picking up my voice. You could also use it on OBS Studio. And as you can see on the bottom here where it says mic, I click on the gearbox and I go to properties and NVIDIA broadcast shows up. Out of all the devices that, my, that I have for microphone, I select NVIDIA broadcast. So you get the idea, that's the setup. Now how to set it up on Windows? Close this, you click right on the speaker down here, on the bottom right of the screen, click right click, and then go to sounds. This window will open up, and you go to recording. Now as you can see I have Arctix, my Arctis uh, 7 mic, my built in mic on my headset. It's the wireless headset that I use. I have that enabled as a communication device, but if I disable it, the only ones I have enabled are NVIDIA Broadcast and my USB PNP, which is my mic, my uh, Reloop mic, that's the main mic that I use. But I have it set off as default. It's not default. I have my, uh, my main mic is NVIDIA Broadcast. As you can see, I have the check mark on this. So make sure that this is the only one checked and that this is not on communication device or not on anything. You just have to work it till you see only this check mark. That way it doesn't pick up this sound by mistake. As you can see, both are working. They're both peaking, but only one has a check mark. So you have to figure that out. And once you have all this set up, then you're ready to stream and you're ready to uh, use uh, GeForce Experience. Now what I do with GeForce Experience, so we right click, select GeForce Experience, and that'll open up. We go to settings, we go to uh, click on this button, go to audio, and we switch this to NVIDIA Broadcast as well. This way it picks up our mic properly while NVIDIA Broadcast is playing and it'll remove all the background noise, dogs barking, uh, fans blowing, uh, whatever the case may be, everything's gonna be turned off. The only thing you're gonna hear is your voice if you have NVIDIA broadcast turned on. And just like you guys noticed, the hum went away right when I switched to twin video broadcast while I was recording this video. Right, so if you want separate audio tracks, you select uh, to stop recording. I can't stop it now to show you but I use uh, two audio tracks. I use a system sound and my microphone separated on two different tracks. That way I can control my volume during my rendering on uh, whatever app I use. And uh, that'll keep me, keep my mic separate from, my, from the system sound. So I always have two separate tracks. So that's how I have everything set up guys. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, guide tutorial on how to set up your NVIDIA broadcast. Uh, if it helped you out, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments below. So cheers guys, hope you enjoyed it. This has been Jimmy Dali. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, share, like, favorite, subscribe, do all those good things, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.